up everybody what the fuck is up welcome back to cooking with bird martinez the one the only bird motherfucking martinez bitch so first i want to say what the fuck is up to everybody i don't know what them little things flying around is give me some motherfucking ghost some lit chinga su madre i don't know so i want to say what's up to everybody it's been an interesting weekend but bitch, I'm happy and it's still fucking Monday and I'm eating my pizza. I don't like to cook when I'm hungry. Because every time I cook when I'm hungry, I'm like picking and poking and eating. And I don't like it. It's kind of disrespectful to the people that you're cooking for. And I know it's my family, I know. But I just don't like it. I don't know, I'm a fucking weirdo. But anyways, today, we're going to make something a little different. But hear me out, motherfuckers. Please, we're gonna make quail and chile rojo, aka codornices, guilotas, and chile rojo. But I'm also gonna asar somebody, like you know, with the, in the grill, just in the grill, because my kids don't eat a lot of chile, and I want them to play. Because to me, the, my favorite is asadas. Like that's how my mom taught me. Okay, I know a lot of people they're like, oh my god, what the fuck is that? Quail, I always say it's like little chickens. I mean, let me get a good one. It's a good one to show you guys. They're like little chickens, right? This is how they look. And I know, I know people are like, oh my God. But the reason why um, I'm like comfortable to eating this, just fucking with this, is because when I was little, you know, I would talk about when I went to Mexico as a little girl. Me and my cousins, they would get that resortera, you know, and go like this. And then they would look at a little bird that was like standing in a poop and it would fall down. And my cousins were so happy and they would run home. And my tío, um, Chapa, that's what they call him, Chapa, his name is Raul. He would take off the feathers, do the whole thing, clean it up, season it up, and throw it. He wouldn't even um, put it on the grill. He had his own like little sticks, like leña. Like his own little fire, like homemade. He always told me, I don't like to cook with gas. I don't look like to cook with, um, I don't know what else, in the kitchen. I like my shit natural. And that's how he still cooks, like, till this day. But anyways, <clears throat> so I went to the store. And I was like, can I get 12, right? This motherfucker's like, seasoned or unseasoned? And I was like, unseasoned. And he's like, Bitch, it pisses me off because every time I go to the fucking store, I'm like so excited, like motivated, like let's do this, we're gonna cook, we're gonna make a motherfucking video. I'm so fucking inspired. And then motherfuckers are like, can I help you? Like, bitch, I know some jobs are not the most glamorous jobs, but whatever the fuck you're doing, even if you're just like um, sweeping, maintenance, be a happy maintenance bitch, you know what I'm saying? Because you got this one motherfucking life and don't fuck it up by being all mad. Because, bitch, I've had people, I'm like, can I get this meat? And they're like, oh, yeah, what are you going to make? Da -da 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 -da. And we have a conversation and have a good, good old time. And that's how I feel it should be. But anyways, I'm talking too much. So we're going to make quail. It's right there. I'm going to use chiles guajillos, bitch. Because <laughs> that's my favorite. But you can use whatever you want. I'm going to try the chile in Mexico. Who the fuck is honking? I swear, if you knock in a Mexican's house, Everybody hides. Nobody wants to answer the fucking door. But if you honk, Mexicans be looking out. Like, who, who's that? It's weird. So, chile guajillos. I'm going to use this seasoning right here, the chicken seasoning. Black pepper. Cumin powder. Cumin powder. Garlic. Oregano. What else? Oh. And the black peppercorns. That's what I'm going to use for the salsa. And... What else? I'm gonna use that for the salsa, for the seasoning, that and that, that. Oh, for the ones that I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a chef merito, because you know we merito up in this house. I'm gonna use mm -hmm. a little bit of garlic powder, you know, for extra taste, bitch. Oh, for that, we're gonna use lemon to season the motherfuckers. So let's get this motherfucker started. Let's do this. Sophia La Tortilla right here. Today was her first motherfucking day of school. How was it, Sylvia? Good. There is a new student. There's a new student. <clears throat> Where did he come from? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. And is he cute? The only good thing about him is his eyes. 
So you're just like, oh, he, that's the only good thing. What about his heart? What about his brain? What about his feelings? Like you can't just be superficial. What if somebody said, <laughs> the only good thing about you is your nose? Wouldn't you feel weird? Do you, do you like my nose? I love your nose. Cause like, or like this. People, you want to see people's brain, mama. people's heart, mama. people's feelings. Don't be superficial, be a real one. Like your mama. <laughs> mm, I'm going to show you guys how I cut these motherfuckers. It's the, this is how they look like, right? Make sure you get a real, real sharp knife. Like me, sharpen mine right now. And we're just gonna cut in the middle of the. How do you cut chicken breast or quail breast? And open it up like this. So when you get it ready, stop being chingon. What do you need, Sofia? Daddy. Squeeze a lemon with the with the squeezer. Okay. And then Sofia's gonna squeeze the lemon on top of it. So what we're gonna do? Just gonna go like that, but she's gonna finish it up. And we're gonna do the same thing to all of them. Let's see, they had it seasoned a certain type of way, but I didn't like the seasoning. Like I was tasting, it, I didn't like it. And I told them I wanted them unseasoned, but then the guy's like, "Oh well, they're frozen." I was like, "Why the fuck do I want a frozen, you know, thing? I, I'm gonna make them right now." But te digo, he was like in the mood, and sometimes it's gonna have like little feathers. So take them out. I'm, it's going to be a bird eating a bird. I'm a fucking cannibal. Quítale el culito también si quieres. Si no quieres, no. Ahí está Sofía. Today, Sofía is my assistant. Even though you had a long day of school, you're still here helping me. Appreciate that. Appreciate it, baby. 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 Okay. See? ¿Sí? Mira que chula. Look for any feathers. If you find any, just pull the motherfuckers out. Can I see the feather? Aquí anda una chiquita, mira. Aquí. Mm. You just have to. Can you please cut the lemon? I'm yeah. showing you guys and Sophia. I'm going to season it. So she put lemon. All I get is the lemon. A bunch of lemon. A bunch of lemon. And just like, see right here? Just kind of go like that. Also, it's good for seasoning because it gives it flavor. But it's also, um, so it doesn't have any smelly smells smell. So you just go like this. Put the seasoning. You can put your hand. Open that one. Open it for me. You can put it on the next one. Okay. I just want to show you. Open it. Open it means all the way. Yeah. And then you put the garlic on top. Mm. Like that. Smells good. It smells good, right? Mm -hmm. Just watch until I grill this motherfucker. It's going to be bomb ski ski motherfucker. So I'm going to put... Let me see, one, two. I think I'm gonna grill three of them and the rest I'm gonna make in the chile rojo. You wanna finish seasoning this one with yes. this? Seeing the final touches on the guilotas. I'm gonna get a olla and I'm just gonna put water up in this hole. While Sofia is getting the garlic ready for me, I'm gonna show you how I cut this motherfucker. So some of them I forgot to take the tail off. I also like to take off this extra skin because we don't want no extra, extra stuff. Pero así la hacemos, güey. So I cut it in four pieces. There's one, two. Y lo aquí está la otra. But you could cut like the alita separada if you like it. I just like it how I like it. Since they're not like that big, you know what I'm saying? You don't want the food to get lost in there. But you know, you cut whatever you want. I'm probably doing it wrong. Pero chingue su madre. This is how I saw my uncle doing it, so you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna do what yaki for the chicken or the no the quail the guilota always put like a little Anta la pinche chingadera puta because they're different than pollo we ahí está see boom chakalaka oh this looks like my legs no this bitch has fatter legs than me okay I see that's how my legs are always been a skinny. And so a skinny bitch, but Sofia, she's a big, big girl. So yeah, I got bigger legs than me, huh, Sofia? Mm -hmm. And big, and kind of big legs than Benji's. Mm-hmm. Benji's is Mandy. That's her nickname. Está. <laughs> boom, boom. Ya la tortilla got more garlic cloves ready for me. Thank you, Sofia. And I'm gonna put up in this bitch the way that processes, sir. Is that what it's called? With a little fucking arrow. The I'm gonna put them in this bitch right here. 
And then we're gonna add him to this little me? remix. Hmm? Do you need no, me? this cuts it for you. I'll show oh, you. Like that. that. I'm gonna get the garlic. And I'm just gonna throw it in there. Whoever gets some, get some. If you don't get some, then I'm sorry. It's just for flavor, bitch. And then the salt. As wanted, as needed. You know, season your shit. Don't overdo it. It has a piece of cilantro right there. Ugh. Ah, ya se me fue la puta. And then we're gonna put it in the water that we have boiling. Since the water is ready, boiling, ahora sí lo vamos a echar. Las godornices up in that poof. It smells really good, huh? And all that floating is garlic. Este, Sofía, I think you just love garlic. I think that's what it is. Because every time I make some shit with garlic, you're like, it smells good. And right now, chumos un chingo de garlic. Mom, do you remember last time you put some chicken in your burrito? Last time I made my burritos the way I make, always make them, but at this time I added oregano. And Sofia, like, said, did you put some oregano up in here? Like, girl, how do you know? You know your flavor. You're good, mama. Add a piece of onion for flavor. Pa que agarre. And a little bit of salt. Where's my motherfucking spoon, yo? Here you go. Keep on moving on. So I can start getting. Shout out to my girl. Que me mandó mis cucharas for my birthday. You're the best in the West. I do use the stuff that you sent me. Este, we were gonna go get my P.O. box today, pero you know life. Pero en one of these days. Pa que me manden sus calzones. So now... Sofia La Tortilla is helping me debain these motherfuckers. So you guys know the drill. First, you take the head out, right? Oh, what? it's not the head. It's la colita. You take off the colita. Let me get a good one. Get the colita. Then you put your finger up in this bitch. And you open it up. And you take off the seeds. And this is the part that takes long. Mandy came right now. And we're like, hi, Mandy. What are you doing? You want to help? And the little girl's like... Came to get some cookies. I came to get some chocolates this way. All of a sudden, she's being lazy. Ah, se me cayó un pedazo de chile. Por andar de mamona. So I'm using a lot of chiles just because I love the sauce. It's really, really good. Con este. Con las. ¿Cómo se llama? Guelotas, the quail. Codornices. They have all kinds of names. Medium. And whatever. But I just toast them a little bit. Don't over toast them because then they get burnt and they're not that good. I use my hands because it's just better for me to control this motherfucker. Because every time I try to use a spoon, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I love to cook with my hands because I feel like I, I'm in control and shit. I mean, yeah, it makes sense, doesn't it? I don't know. I do my makeup with my hands. I do everything. Everything. I even eat a salad with um, my hands. I look crazy. Pero chinga su madre. Look how beautiful those colors are, bitch. I know I say it all the time. I'm probably just boring by now. Oh, I can't wait to eat this. So creo que ya van a estar. For the chiles, I'm just gonna add the garlic, a piece of onion up in this piece. I already have my my este fire going outside. So I need to put the godonis. So some onion. What else? No. Black peppercorns, like 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Like a, you know, a handful like this of oregano. And where's my cumin? I was going to say my cinnamon. There you I'm fucking crazy sometimes. Cinnamon, extra cinnamon because I love cinnamon. See? I'm telling you, I said it in my head and it came out. Cumin, cumin, cumin. Pero bien pendeja. And now I'm going to fill it up with water. So the colonizes, I'm grilling them outside. I'm still trying to find like a good temperature so it's not too high. So I'm figuring this bitch out. The colonizes already. They were there for like, what, 20 minutes? Mm-hmm. But one thing is that I, I was boiling the water before I put them up in that hole. So you know what I mean. Put some oil. Y ahora sí. I'm going to transfer. No, first I'm going like, to let it get warm. And then I'm going to transfer these bitches to this bitch. So now it's nice and hot. Now we're going to put them. 
to a bigger pot because the other one was getting all squished and when i cook i don't like my shit squished i like my shit to have space so it can spread the legs so what i want i want it to be like a little brownish on each side because that brings more flavor it's the it's already cooked like you could already eat it but we're just trying to get like a little bit more flavor you know what i'm saying and my ones that i'm grilling outside they're getting ready i wanted to talk about this because me and mario were talking about it so i have a few cousins that are like gangsters cholos when i remember when i was a little kid they got jumped in and i remember when i was in high school in bowman i was walking out and all i see is my cousin like saying fuck you motherfuckers this is da -da 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 -da, throwing this fucking game and a bunch of like smaller like cholitos were like fucking him up but i think my cousin was on something because he was like ah! like fucking um godzilla or some shit anyways i was like get the fuck off my cousin get the fuck i mean i don't i'm not gonna be like in his game but i was there for him so anyways this was back in 2005 2004 but like a week ago that cousin he posted something about you know fuck this gang and da -da -da -da. he even posted a picture of the of the cholitos of the other game and i'm like really he has his grown daughters he's like you know living his life but i don't understand why he has to come back to that shit you know i think he gets drunk a little bit and he starts you know how people when they drink they turn into gangsters again all of a sudden but then i was talking to it but to uh, to it up to my mom and she said that the reason why he is i have some gum in my head the reason why he's acting like that is because he doesn't live in California. He lives in another state. So, you know, it's so easy to talk your shit, but be in another state. I just thought that shit was some, some clown shit. Like, no mama is like, be better, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm perfect, because probably, probably people think like, you're too old bitch to be cursing, but I don't claim no motherfucking hood or none of that shit. That shit's just like childish to me. And if you're watching this, cuz, you know what I'm saying? You gotta stop. Because, um, you know, he probably, maybe he watches me. I don't know. I don't really, really know. Some people like to admit that they, they don't. But some people don't like to admit that they watch me. But then they do. So I don't know. I don't really, really know. The remix is ready. It's been sitting there for way more than 15 minutes, like I said. It's gonna rain tomorrow? Sophia, you don't know. Sophia gets so excited. Oh my God, it's gonna rain. She loves the rain. Because every time it rains, I let them go outside and get wet. So I don't know, I think it's fun. But then they have to come inside and take a shower. Because supposedly, that's how we, I was raised. If you get wet, make sure when you go inside, get wet again. Or take a shower. I don't know if it works. Or if it's all bullshit. But that's how my mama raised me. Good stuff. Just chilling. I think I need to remix it a little bit more. Make sure to blend it for like good time because that's what I did. I blended it for like two minutes and it wasn't remixed correctly. So yeah, I blended it more time. Cinco minutos, even six minutes. My tia, back in the day when she used to cook or when I used to go over her house, I swear her blender was on all the motherfucking time. But anyways, I'm going to make a video on my other channel. Bitch, I got two girls that one of them sent me a DM, the other them left in my comments, and they were talking about some real ass shit. Like, um, one of the girls was saying how she lives with her fiance, aka her boyfriend, or her, her boyfriend, aka her fiance, and they live with the grandma. And the grandma is 90 years old, and the lady is always in the kitchen, she's always been like a weirdo. So the girl can't even cook for her vato, you know what I'm saying? And bitch, I need to get into it. Porque I am very, like, como se dice? I could relate to this bitch like that. Because when I got with Mario, he was so into his mama's vagina. 
sucking his mama's titty. Well, not literally, but that's how I would say it. See, every time we wanted to go somewhere and his mom didn't approve with it, she would say something. This smells divine. Like, wow. So we're just gonna shower the, the food, the godorniz with the chilito. Taste it. Mm. Needs a little bit of salt. Always taste your shit. Porque you know what? I don't know. Just taste your shit. Just to make sure. Even if you have the measurements or whatever. Sometimes it's not going to be perfect. Let's go like that. I'm going to leave it there for like five minutes so it could get sexy. That beauty. Oh, look at that beauty. And then we got the chicken over here. No, the chicken. It looks like chicken. That's why you say chicken. I know it looks a little burnt. But like I said, that's how I like it. In the two, and the one, two, three. Yo sé que tienes un nuevo amor. Sin embargo, te deseo lo mejor. Si en mí no encontraste felicidad, tal vez alguien más te la dará, bitch. Como la flor, como la flor, con tanto amor, con tanto amor, me diste tú. And I can't see my sheep. Andy said that a little girl in her class said that she went to Paris. Where else? Like Paris, around Europe. She went all around Spain. Europe, in and out, Europe's, Europe's asshole. And she said she was going to say, oh, and I went to the swamp meet. But she didn't. Pero por qué? You know some people, they don't even have a swamp meet no more where they're at. Yesterday when I uploaded a video, somebody said, oh, I miss it, the swami, because they don't have him anymore. So even though it's just the swami, you got your eyebrows done. Fuck it. Next time, just fucking say it. Be proud of whatever fuck you are. Okay, Sofia? Mm -hmm. You want it for lunch tomorrow? Mm -hmm. So you can tell the little kids, ooh, guys, look, I ate bird. Hey, <laughs> okay, motherfucker, so this is what it looks like. I put some... This piece is the one with the ala, the wing, and the one with the um, the body part. I don't know what the fuck. But I'm just gonna put some onion. You know the drill. For those of you that don't know, one of the reasons why I love onion is because I could not eat onion until I turned eight when I did my first communion. Because according to my mom, it was bad, so I have to listen to her. I didn't eat onion. A little bit of salt on the onion. Mmm. 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 Ah, ah, ah. Ooh. La la. Whew. Let's do this. Mmm. I always put lipstick right here. The other day I posted a picture on my YouTube light, right? I'm over here talking shit like, da -da -da, like thinking of something to write. I didn't notice that in the picture I had like pink underneath me. I'm like, bitch. I kind of look all cute and shit. Salud con mi mamadas. But anyways, you know the drill. A ver, a ver. A ver cómo le hago aquí. The wing. I like to get all up in there. Toda madre a un desmadre, wey. This one you're gonna get. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna go bad. It's gonna go crazy. Like messy. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. For those of you that have never tried Godorniz, it's not as big. It's not like, oh my God, it's so crazy. Because this is what people ate. Well, in Mexico, where I'm from, eat to survive. You know what I'm saying? Mm. It just has this little taste so fucking good. The fuck I'm talking about? And right now, Mandy's gonna eat the, the one that I did on the grill. But I put it in there so it could be nice and warm for her. And crispy. And I'm like surprised that she's not even talking shit. Like, oh my God, I don't want to eat that. Da -da -da -da. Because I told her that's what my, my cousins ate when they we grew up. But anyways, my fucker. The godornis that I did on the grill. I always like the wings. I don't know why. Mm. It's really good grilled. 
It brings all the taste. I like them both ways. Anyways, to all my bird gang, 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 gang motherfuckers, I love you. Peace and love. And remember, fuck these bitches and fuck these hoes.